Hi everyone. You may well have heard that one of the initial use cases of 5G is fixed wireless access, or FWA. Many operators across the world are looking into this use case. There is also a bit of confusion around what fixed wireless access means. This tutorial aims to introduce the concept of fixed wireless access at a high level. There are some good references at the end if you wish to dig deeper into the topic. Let's start with the basic concept of creating a hotspot. You have a mobile phone, Android or iPhone, that is connected to the mobile network base station. You can switch on the Wi-Fi hotspot on the phone and it creates a Wi-Fi hotspot. So any modern smartphone can be turned into a Wi-Fi hotspot. This is known as Wi-Fi tethering. Smartphones are generally used for such activities for a small duration only. This is mainly because with many operators, they only allow limited tethering, or they slow down the connection if you are tethering, etc. Note that this is a limitation put by the MNO rather than a technical one. Also, if you are tethering, then sometimes it's an issue to be able to use your device for other activities. For example, if your phone does not support VoLT, then it can do a CS fallback from 4G to 3G or 2G when a voice call is made or received. This affects the connectivity of all devices connected to the smartphone. The battery of the smartphone doing tethering dies rather quickly. There is also a limited charge discharge lifetime of a battery, so using it for tethering can kill the battery quickly. Finally, the hotspot coverage area created by a smartphone is quite limited. It's around 10 to 20 feet radius at most. An alternative to using a smartphone is a MiFi device. Now, I call it MiFi, but it's also referred to by different names, such as mobile hotspot router, mobile Wi-Fi router, etc. MiFi is just a brand name, which was initially used by Novatel Wireless. It's understood to stand for My Wi-Fi or mobile Wi-Fi. A MiFi device is the same as a smartphone, but its only purpose is to create a Wi-Fi hotspot. Hence, you don't really need a large screen cameras, voice functionality, etc. This device is available for many vendors. The picture below shows a dongle as well as a mobile Wi-Fi router. You can create a Wi-Fi hotspot indoors with a smartphone or a Wi-Fi device. It's not the best approach because mobile signal attenuates as it goes through walls. As mentioned earlier, smartphones and Wi-Fi devices are good for smaller coverage areas. For large coverage areas, proper Wi-Fi routers are required. Let's look at an example of fixed wireless access indoors. First, you will need an external high gain antenna to get a reliable signal. The difference with this is, if I have to explain simply, if your smartphone is showing one bar outside your home, this external antenna will see it as three or four bars. This external antenna is connected to a CPE or customer premises equipment. Now, different operators have different equipment. Some operators have CPE that receives the mobile signal, like a smartphone or MiFi and also has an inbuilt Wi-Fi router. Here we are showing it separately as some other operators have it in this way. Once the signal is received by external antenna, the Wi-Fi router will start transmitting Wi-Fi signals. Note that this router is similar to the commercial router that you have in your home or office and provides a large coverage area of around 80 to 100 meters. Looking at the same example as before for in-building scenario, here you can see that there is only one CPE that is needed to get the mobile signal via an external antenna. The output from the CPE can be an Ethernet cable that can be connected to multiple Wi-Fi routers to provide coverage in the whole building. This is just a picture from the internet to show a different view of FWA and the different devices within the home that uses it. Another picture showing FWA antenna in real life. Note here the mention of FWA radios. The FWA radios are not any different. It's just that the mobile operator may choose a dedicated higher frequency for FWA. Higher frequencies allow beam forming, thereby providing much higher throughput to each user via separate beams. There's nothing stopping them from using existing frequencies. In the USA, for example, Verizon and AT&T are looking at 28 gigahertz for FWA. Sprint, on the other hand, is looking at 2.5 GHz for FWA as well as mobile 5G. 
Here are some references for further reading. We hope you like this short video of the fixed wireless axis. Please let us know your thoughts, opinions or suggestions in the comment section. Thank you very much.